Welcome to WISIS 2016 in Geneva, Switzerland. I'm very pleased to be joined today by the Honorable Etienne Sinatambou, who is Minister for Technology, Communication and Innovation for the Republic of Mauritius. Minister, thank you very much for being with us today. Thank you to have me on television. Now, it's the first day of uh, WISIS uh, 2016. I'd like to talk to you a little bit about your own uh, personal situation. You are Minister for Technology, Communication and Innovation. I know that you were actually Minister for ICT 10 years ago. You must have seen a lot of changes uh, since then. I wanted to perhaps uh, ask you whether you could tell us a little bit about those. Yes, that's correct. Um, well, first of all, I attended the first uh, WISIS summit in Tunisia, uh, in Tunisia in 2005. And uh, one very important thing is that 10 years ago I was Minister of ICT. This time I am Minister of Technology, Communication and Innovation. And that is far wider. And I think this pays tribute to the fact that ICT is not only an enabler, it is now uh, also um, an industry by itself. I think that is one of the major shifts I have seen. Um, the other shift I have seen is the, the extent you know, of, of, of the development of ICTs, at least in my country. Um, you know, when I first became minister, the, the Mauritian government wanted to make of ICT the fifth pillar of the Mauritian economy. And already three and a half years later, it had become the third pillar of the economy. And today, uh, the ICT sector contributes 6.4% of the Mauritian GDP, uh, just after the financial sector and the tourism sector. So there has been a lot of developments, I would say. And in the Republic of Mauritius, how have ICTs changed uh, the uh, climate? How have ICTs uh, made an impact there? Well, drastically. I mean, let me give you just one example. Um, the, the former minister, when I became minister first time, the former minister, uh, and that's politics, you know, you're always trying to prove that you're better than the other. And he was saying that um, there were five e-services in the country. So uh, to prove him wrong, I said, OK, if he's got five, well, this year we'll have 50. And uh, so the number of e-services in the country, for example, has, has, has increased. The use of ICTs, I'll give you an example. Um, very often, people who are at a disadvantage, let's say the unemployed, the disabled, um, you have people who are socially and economically disadvantaged who don't have access to ICTs. And um, I set up something called the public internet access points. Because apart from the Ministry of ICT, I was also the Minister for Postal Services. And if there's one thing you have in virtually every town and village, it's a, it's a post office. And what we did was to equip each of those post offices with uh, PCs, print printers, and now uh, broadband internet. And 10 years later, when I become uh, Minister again of that sector, um, I realized the equipment has not been updated. So I just got cabinet last month to approve the updating of that particular uh, scheme and we'll be equipping again uh, each post office with those public internet access points. And what makes it a very laudable thing is that it is free for senior citizens, unemployed people, disabled people, and, and uh, uh, <laughs> and widows and orphans. So it's about a fifth of the Mauritian population which get it free of charge from post offices. And of course, uh, I see that the title innovation is in, uh, in, your, uh, in your job title now. Uh, is that really helping? Is that, is that what's driving the, uh, to uh, very much bridge the digital divide? Well, innovation in itself um, may not be the primary, uh, let's say the primary source for bridging the digital divide. But what it does, it, cert it, it comes at the higher level of the equation. Um, to give an example, uh, today, when I to me, when I speak about um, innovation, it's about the Internet of Things. Now, you are speaking of, of a higher level. Um, with, with innovation, for example, uh, we, have, we are launching in a few months uh, what we have called the National uh, Innovation Framework. So that's much more at the higher level of the segment, 
But at the lower level, we are also looking at it from different angles. Very briefly, just to wrap up, you said you were at WISIS in 2005. Just really wanted to ask you, why is WISIS important? You're here again. Why is WISIS important? Why is this an important event for you? Well, because it allows societies, I mean, it allows societies to improve their faith. It allows countries to develop. I mean, I was just hearing one of the uh, professors from Oxford uh, saying that there is a need to have transfer of technology from the more advanced countries to the less advanced countries because the least advanced countries actually don't have the human resources nor the financial resources. So with this from that perspective is not only very important, it's most important. Minister, thank you very much for being with us today. I thank you very much. And uh, thank you very much for watching. You can watch a number of these videos on the IT YouTube channel. And uh, please follow us also on social media and, uh, and keep us posted. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you, Minister. Thank you. Thank you.